You're watching Popular Cruising and our review of the Carnival Vista from Carnival Cruise Line. And joining me today is my wife Heidi, who is also on the cruise with me. Ahoy cruisers, thanks for having me. As always, we're going to begin with the accommodations. We enjoyed Balcony Stateroom 9407 and its modern beachy decor. The storage was plentiful and we appreciated the USB charging outlets at the desk. Although I wish there had been some by the bed. Nonetheless, our teddy bears didn't mind. And of course we always appreciate the view from the balcony. Heading back on the inside, the bed was super comfortable, but the couch was a little stiff. A mostly square footprint shower made it easy to navigate. But my hair sure wasn't easy to navigate since Carnival doesn't provide conditioner. Ladies, don't forget to pack your own. We did enjoy the aroma of the soaps, however. Elsewhere on board, accommodations include the Cloud9 Spa Suite. The spacious Family Harbor Suite with playful towel animals. And exclusive access to the Family Harbor Lounge. Complete with video game and internet terminals. And a dining buffet area. One of the ship's final unique accommodations is the Havana Cabana Suite. And it's relaxing outdoor chair swing and lounger. And moving on to activities, we take a stroll along the private promenade outside the Havana cabins. Leading straight to the exclusive Havana Bar and Pool overlooking the stern. Private to Havana cabin guests by day and open to all guests by night. Once the sun goes down, it's a great place to sneak a smooch under the stars. You might even get two smooches if you bring me a mojito. Which you can purchase right from the bar here. In the evening, this is also a great haunt for live Cuban music. Or a relaxing space for a daytime card game. Meanwhile, the Ocean Plaza is the hub of many activities on board. Including our personal favorite, Trivia, where we won two ships on a stick. And just next door is the Dream Studio and Pixels Photo Gallery for purchasing images of your favorite cruise memories. Meanwhile, the library bar is where you can enjoy books, board games, and as the name implies, wines by Enomatic Dispenser. There are also plenty of fun shops on board for retail therapy. Or to buy that conditioner you've been missing. In the center of the shops is the Vista Atrium and its stunning funnel video display. with imagery that changes throughout the cruise. Downstairs is where you can purchase tours at the shore excursions desk. Or browse the internet at these terminals. But the Wi-Fi is the fastest we've ever had at sea. And now wave hello to the friendly staff at Guest Services. The Vista Casino is better located lower on the ship. And although it is smoky, at least its atrium is enclosed. And there are lots of slots and table games to keep you entertained. Adjacent to the casino is the Skybox Sports Bar and its own Poker Pro table. Plus screens for catching up on the big game. Down the hallway is the art gallery for displaying pieces up for auction. At the end of which is the conference room, which is actually a convertible section of the dining room. For the little ones on board, there's Camp Ocean. Featuring playrooms for different age groups. 
including Dr. Seuss Bookville and its library of classics. There's also an outdoor section where I inadvertently set off the alarm. He did it five times. My husband stops at nothing to capture a video. Elsewhere, Circle C is the venue exclusive for tweens. And Club O2 is just for teens. And for kids of all ages, there's the video arcade. Including classics like air hockey. And upstairs for even more games is the clubhouse. And for more adult relaxation, there's the Cloud9 Spa. And look, there you are, honey. Put down your camera, it's time for our couple's massage. Which unfortunately doesn't include access to the thermal suite. But it's the Lassa Therapy Pool is tiny at best anyway. For the ultimate experience, book the couple's VIP suite next time, honey. Elsewhere in the spa is the salon and fitness center. And just upstairs is the popular Serenity Adult Only Retreat. Seen here in port during a beautiful sunset. Overlooking San Juan, Puerto Rico. For sunbathing of a different sort, there's the Tides Pool at the stern. As well as the Beach Pool at Midship. Which we noticed was blissfully empty on port days. And above it all is Carnival Waterworks. With its fun trio of slides and aqua park. Complete with a drench bucket. And other ways to get soaked. Plenty of which are enjoyable for most ages. Including this tamer water slide. Before graduating up to the big boys. Like the twister seen here in real time. which is faster than you might imagine. And the Kaleida Slide. Which is altogether psychedelic. For other activities, there's the sports square. It's outdoor exercise equipment. And sky court. Above other outdoor games and mini golf is the ropes course. But the highlight attraction here is the Sky Ride. And it's racing suspended cycles. 
Obviously, port days will have shorter lines, but we asked a ride operator, and he suggested the best time for our specific itinerary. And although the attraction may look tame from this angle, it's actually a blast once on board with its dips and turns. As seen here with my POV. Time for Blue to take a little dipsy doodle. Say hello to corporate cousin Aida Cruises. Sorry, but my German's a little rusty. Isn't it time to eat already? <laughs> Why yes, let's talk about dining. Starting high up at the Serenity Deck where you can get salad your way at Fresh Creations. Heading down are the first two specialty restaurants. Starting with the incredible GG Asian Kitchen. It's worth every penny of the surcharge. I wish we'd eaten there more than once to enjoy seconds on dishes like succulent slow braised pork belly, Chinese pot stickers, savory peppered beef entree, the best kung pao chicken I've ever had, a side of wide noodles to accompany the family style dishes, and a dessert of sweet fried wontons. Just next door is Cucina del Capitano. and its decor of historic carnival ship photographs. On a whole, it was our least favorite specialty restaurant, but we did enjoy appetizers such as fresh caprese salad and a colorful charcuterie plate and entrees like an underwhelming linguine and meatballs and a better side of rosemary potatoes. And you can never go wrong with sweet cannoli. Meanwhile, a great included option is Pizzeria del Capitano. Where you can get made-to-order pies fresh 24 hours a day. For the closest watering hole, check out Tide's Bar. And on the flip side is the awesome Seafood Shack. where you can enjoy premium specialties like clam chowder in a bread bowl and their delicious signature lobster roll. Just inside is the Lido Marketplace Buffet featuring a wide variety of cuisine to suit every mood. From grilled sandwiches to fresh salads, the buffet's got it all. And poolside is the amazingly free Guy's Burger Joint. Crafting gourmet burgers and fries. And when they ask if you want donkey sauce, trust me, the answer is yes. Especially on top of our favorite pig patty. And don't forget to grab a Red Frog Rum Bar cocktail to help wash it all down. All while enjoying this delightful jazz flute. On the other side of the pool is the Blue Iguana Cantina. With its custom burritos and tacos and impressive salsa bar. And for you early risers, stop by in the morning for a breakfast burrito. My personal favorite are the tacos with delicious tortillas made fresh on the spot. And for an alcoholic accompaniment, you can head over to the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And for now, adios, jazz flute. 
Downstairs for included main dining, there's the Double Decker Horizons restaurant. With a much improved decor over previous carnival ships. Here we enjoyed standards like shrimp cocktail. A Caesar salad that was a little heavy on the anchovy paste. And a much better prime rib made into surf and turf with the addition of succulent lobster. And you can't pass up Carnival's signature warm chocolate melting cake. The Reflections restaurant is yet another main dining room. As well as the entry point to the chef's table which is situated within the ship's galley. This exclusive culinary experience exceeded our expectations and is a must-do for all foodies. It even included a galley tour during dinner service. And a demonstration by the pastry chef of how to make that delicious warm chocolate melting cake. And before long, it was time to eat the likes of Berkshire pork belly under a veil of yuzu mustard slow-cooked crispy lamb with roasted beet, olive oil poached sea bass, quail over mushroom risotto, veal with crushed green apples, citrus cream dessert, and a chocolate hazelnut finale. The alchemy bar was our favorite watering hole on board, where bartenders prescribe elixirs and craft them with flair. So keep an open mind and let them surprise you. To satisfy your sweet tooth, or for a quick pick-me-up, head over to the Shake Spot in Java Blue Cafe, where you can buy premium cakes like Blue Velvet. For additional snacks throughout the day, there's the Taste Bar. Like breakfast items in the morning. And for nearby drinks, there's the Plaza Bar, which extends outside to the Lanai, where there are other dining options like Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue Smokehouse, which is only available on sea days. We highly recommend the brisket. Farther down the way is Bonsai Sushi, where chefs prepare premium dishes such as slow braised wagyu short ribs, chicken katsu, and various fresh sushi rolls. Why don't you take a lap around the front of the ship, my dear, and show off the view? And now to treat yourself, come get a scoop at Cherry on Top. Presented by our little friend here. And as I continue my lap, I head for Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, where we enjoyed specialty courses such as refreshing ahi tuna tartare, traditional New England crab cake, an 18 ounce spice rubbed prime ribeye steak, and caramelized Washington apples to finish. And I'll finish my lap with a beer crawl at the Red Frog Pub and Brewery, where there are classic pub games to play, and where the motion of the ocean makes beer that's made on board taste better. I think that's just his excuse to drink more beer. Am I right, ladies? Either way, you can pour your own, or order a flight from the bar. And as for entertainment, the Carnival Vista has a lot to offer. Including live music starting at the piano bar. And extending to the Vista Atrium.
as well as poolside. And the Ocean Plaza. Especially unique on board is the Carnival Multiplex. Here the Thrill Theater is reprised from the Carnival Breeze. With fun three-dimensional simulator rides. But the creme de la creme is its genuine IMAX theater. Presenting first-run films in the ultimate cinematic format. We particularly enjoyed the Limelight Lounge. Which is home to the Punchliner Comedy Club. And the Liquid Lounge is the main theater on board. Which unfortunately has very poor sight lines in the balcony. As well as on the main floor due to its flat, multi-purpose use as a nightclub. But thankfully everything on its stage is great, including its game shows. Lip Sync Battle. Hilarious Cruise Director. and many talented production shows. With just a bit of a visual sampling shown off here. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit PopularCruising.com. Thanks for letting me join in, and happy sailing!